slide so the whole name over here is now with this saying there are few minor points which i have kept you know uh it will look somewhat like this is the format of the background picture behind hey everyone welcome back to fabric art and create and today we will be going through the cover pages of presentations it's the first part don't worry um because of course in a presentation we don't just have cover pages we also have um the index and and the other things that come with it for the information um but today we'll be directing our focus um into cover pages cover pages take a lot of um time and effort because they're the first page they're the first impression of your work so i will be guiding you through um a number of ways you can make the cover page and you know different fonts excuse me uh different fonts different um uh different placements different formats and what all you can do and what all you can avoid in this we have both formal and informal so if you're making a presentation for your school or college or you're making a presentation for presenting in a very professional way in a professional place either way these are very subtle these will help you even go with formal um, and i'll be mentioning when you can use it for formal when you cannot use for formal um so i think without any delay let's get started this video is quite long um if you want you can skip through parts you do not have to watch the entire video you can skip through parts because um it's a little long um you can pause the video and go through the place that i have made proper notes and pause it there and then skip to the next slide um you can do that uh, but if not if you want to watch the entire thing you don't want to miss anything out please go ahead and watch the entire thing and before we begin If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, please like, and please leave a comment down about what you want me to do next. Next, I have quite a few things in line for all of you, but the more the merrier. Please give me your um, opinions and please give me your um, advice about what I should be doing. Uh, share it to someone who you think really requires it. And without any delay, let's get started. here we'll be discussing more about the cover pages and 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 the different ways you can design them so let's get started um our first right here so let me zoom into it and discuss more and more about it so this is our um slide 1 and um we will be discussing a few factors here and what makes it more appealing and whether it's informal or formal and and how exactly should we present it so um as you can see the text over here will be the major the the major topic that you will be discussing about for example i have to create a presentation for my school and the name of the presentation uh is depending on cell and so the whole name over here will be written as the topic's name that is the cell and the example we're taking here is cell so i'm just going to write that in brackets so that's uh the topic name that comes right there now we'll discuss a few things right here about more and more about this particular thing first thing that i've kept in mind is it's bold enough and the reason why it needs to be bold enough is because it's the main topic of the whole thing as you can see i have tried to make it more visible also it's not just bold but visible also visible plays a major role you can't have it all crammed into each other and and ultimately lose the touch because then it will uh, look shabby so you don't want that you want it to be bold but not excessive so you want them you want it to be uh, visible as well and at the same time you want to be bold enough that people um the reason we all uh, keep text bold um is because you want the reader whoever is viewing your presentation to make sure their attention diverts to it and that's why the other things are minor here like for example let's move on to the second element this was our first one The second element is the project name here. Now, what exactly is project name? Project name is nothing but um, the uh, the name of the subject 
or the name of your project if you're not doing it for a school and you're doing it for some other reason for example you want to present your initiative as i've mentioned in the introduction part of the of this video that if you want to make it for an introduction uh, presentation then please go ahead and write the initiative name um uh, so that you can do but if you're doing it for a for a school presentation then usually here comes the subject and if i'm not wrong cell always comes under a bio once we get a little older it will always come under a bio so i'm going to keep that in bracket to go go ahead with other of my examples now with this saying there are few minor points which i have kept in mind one it's not too big which means there is no necessity for it to be big enough um because i mean yeah it's there as an element because you need to make sure that people know under what project does it come um if i start an initiative that is majorly dealing with teaching people to uh, to 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 be more creative so i will write um creativity session or i'll write uh, tutoring creativity but so that gives us a clear idea about what exactly the broad spectrum of it uh, what exactly is the project under what is your presentation being made for that reason it's there but it doesn't have to be too big not as the main topic here that's the cell um so we don't have to have a very big uh, text for it but again it needs to still be clear you cannot make it um like for example i, I had a background of um of of light brown now imagine i had kept a font that was of color this this font color if i had kept it there it would not have been clear because uh, the background then the text would have been lighter than the top part so um that is why you've got to make sure that it's clear enough that's one part so this was our second element on this entire thing and our third element is of course your name this goes without saying you have to mention your name um because the person needs to know who made the presentation if you're doing it on behalf of a company or on behalf of an organization then you've got to mention the name of the organization or the name of the company but apart from that your name goes there because you have taken the initiative to make the presentation so again the same point is here not much different it has to be visible and the second point is the same thing not too big actually it has to be a little smaller than our second element that is uh, uh the subject it has to be smaller than our subject um right here because again your name is important one of the elements uh, is of course your name but it doesn't have to be too big there's no necessity to cram it in the slide uh making making it too big uh but if it's but it's your choice actually name is something if you want people to uh, divert their attention to who made it to your name then please go ahead and make it of a bigger text but it's not necessary but on the other hand the topic right here it is very necessary to make it big enough so the people whoever are going through your slide can view through the topic name uh then last not the least is the whole layout um and the background so layout i have kept here in a way that i preferred like the project name comes on the top but small because that's the major part that's the like the main project like that's biology because that's a subject and the main topic that's the cell i've kept it a little lower to that but it's of a bigger font because we need more more attraction more attention there so that's the main topic on which the entire presentation is going to be there because we, we are not going to keep the entire presentation about biology we're going to keep it about cell um then i have kept the name at i mean um lower than both of them i have kept them uh, I've, i've kept it at the end uh and that's majorly for uh and that's the layout that i preferred but you can make shifts if you uh, if 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 you prefer uh but i have a couple of other uh, slides other designs also where i have shifted it i have not kept the same so you may like them better so you can do it either way uh coming to the background now i have just taken random background here um these pictures you can take from anywhere you can take it from pinterest you can take it from google but do do not forget to mention credits if it is going to a professional um 
a person or a professional place because then plagiarism will come into place so when you think of the background i'm just going to write bg for background not to big i'm just going to keep bg um so the bg the background will have to be a little faded as you can see i have faded the background now for these um for these special effects that i have used for the background you can use the app canva i'm pretty sure most of you do re- do know um what canva is what it does it's 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 a it's a designing platform where you can make such changes i will mention down the link below of canva the app and if you um would want me to i would also make one video directing you on how to use canva uh, the most effectively so uh yes the background over here needs to be a little faded because we don't want it um interfering with our text because the most important um thing is our text here we want audience to see our text so we won't make it interfere too much with the text and second thing i've kept is again clear oops uh okay that so um we are going to keep it clear because we don't um want it to look uh blurred and we don't want it to look of not good quality so that this clear uh, means good quality i'm sorry if you can't understand my handwriting but yeah um so yes we what we mean by that is good quality it has to be clear good quality because that will just enhance your text actually it'll enhance the entire thing as a whole but it'll enhance your text more it'll make you know the whole uh, slide look uh, really good and and you know you you can stand up to expectations like that so yes here i've taken three pictures you can take three pictures that belong to cell now here i've taken random pictures but if you take random pictures then that would not make sense so you've got to um take those three pictures which will relate the most to cell so these pictures need to relate to the topic i am boxing it here so they have to be related to the background so you've got to make sure that the whole background is related to the cell topic and now cell is just an example any topic that you have for example you have um other topics like chemistry so you will have all um reactions in the background and 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 apparatus and um and bunsen burner and etc etc um so this was our first slide um you can pause the video at any time and go through the notes that i have written for each and if not we will continue the second one so we will move on to the next one and here comes the next one um so again as you can see there are a few differences here in this one to begin with i have interchanged the two um this and this so i so first i had the project name on the top um somewhere right here but now i have it exactly here um which again is a uh, due to i mean uh out of your convenience if you would want if you would prefer to keep it down keep it there if you want to keep it up you want to keep it there so do go ahead and do that but one thing that i have not changed as you can see in the second slide is the text uh, size and um and 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 its clarity so both of them will be available at all costs because you cannot compromise with it um so let's get started into the details and the the first thing here i have made this presentation a little informal you can actually say that to begin with with the text that i have used here the text that i have used here is known something as the bubble i hope you have come across that term uh it's known as the bubble which means it cuz it looks like it it looks all puffed up so it'll go like so it'll go like this you know uh it will look somewhat like this okay I'm really horrible at this. Um something like that. Uh it will look like So uh that's the bubble text. You cannot have this for prof- uh, a professional presentation because again the text looks informal. But again the 
pointers that we have kept in mind here are is 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 that um, it is clear. You can say that the text says text comes here. You can read that out loud, and it diverts your attention. That's the first thing. Now try this experiment uh, with other things that you see around, maybe on maybe on an app or or somewhere online. Um, which uh which text actually catches your attention the most and first so you'll see it's usually the ones that have a bigger text and and are more clear now here what i have done with the background there are not many changes color is almost the same and text is almost the same but what i have changed here is the two background uh pictures that i have taken here and the third one that i had here which is the girl here holding the flowers that i haven't added over here Oops, I think I reveal a little bit of the next one. Um, but yes, so these two are the images that I'm adding in the background. But that I have done to basically just be creative. I don't want a third picture. I want only two pictures. Now you can do two things here. You can either merge these two together, uh, that you can have them closer together. Like instead of having it like this. I have a picture one and I have a picture two. Instead of having it like this, you can also have it like this. That means they're joined together. Yeah, you can bring them closer or you can have it, you know, this is the first way, this is the second way. But I wanted to keep them apart because that's creative. Not many people do that. So I wanted to keep it, keep them apart and, you know, write the text there. Again, the whole thing, the whole layout over here is quite informal. Um, there's a gap left in the middle and the text is informal and there are two pictures um uh, across uh, each other so all this whole layout is a very informal one um so i would not you can use this in a school because there you're allowed to take liberties with uh, with your creativity and your projects so you can do it there um yes but more or less it's the same thing um more, it, it remains the same we will move on to the next um one and this is looks exactly like this now again here the text i have changed a little bit the project name again comes down here as you can see it again comes down comes below but over here the text the main text which is this one i have changed the font um i have changed the font and made it larger bigger uh, now the and over here doesn't make sense but if you have like now this layout will suit best if you have uh, two parts of a topic. You have two words you can add in a topic that is joined with and. So um, you can use this uh, for for those kind of topic names. And again, name is in the same place. I'm not I'm, ch I'm not changing the name position. But one thing you can do here is you can bring bring this name somewhere here that it will be somewhere here. Um, and that'll just, maybe it'll change the layout a little bit. You can bring it there. It's a little different. You can bring it there. In fact, for that matter, you can bring the project also a little here, but maybe the project would not look as good as it was in the previous position here, but you can try it out. Now, again, with the background, I'm changing mostly the backgrounds because usually the, uh, text aspect remains the same. So over here, the background, I have kept just one picture for the background and uh, and again here clarity fading uh, image all of them is the same everything is the same but I've just changed the layout a little bit and if you can notice I have the proportion is not I mean it, the ratio between the two so this is the first part and this is the second part the ratio is not the same if you see this ratio is smaller than this ratio so this ratio is a larger ratio um, again because that's uh, if you keep it in the middle it may become classic somewhere that something that you usually see so to make it a little different I have kept it like completely on the on the right hand side now I didn't want to completely push it to the right hand side I wanted to keep it only a little smaller not completely to the right what I mean by that is I would only use this part this part of the area for my picture which I didn't want to do because that will just um, obscure the, uh, the the main picture I mean how much can you fit in that area right so um, so I thought it would be better if I kept it this way instead of the previous one um, and so I have uh, picked up this layout 
let's see what else are the changes here uh, not much from uh, the previous one but the only changes that you will have to see is the is the is the format of the background picture behind that's the only thing that basically changes the entire thing if you think about it so let's move on to this one now um this is i have kept very simple as you can as you can see before even me mentioning it um and i have changed the font now again these fonts you can actually mingle up you can mix up with uh, taking font size from one to another taking the um uh, background idea from one to that one and you can do it either way uh, whatever suits your presentation best here you can take it as um I've taken it as a circle, but one more thing that you can do here is take a, a a rectangle, but only this much. That means it's framing, you know, and only utilize this much of space for the image. So it's utilizing; it's not touching the borders. That's happening in this image, but for this image, it's not touching the borders at all. It's 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 like a frame. So you can have it that way, or uh, you can have it. Um, the way that i have had it that's in a circle um i wanted a circle because it looks nice it looks better than a rectangle or a square one so i wanted a circle again the picture is a random one that i have picked but do pick a picture that relates to your topic that is right here um apart from that again name is in the same position project name is also in the same position now again you can take liberty with the project and shift it somewhere here um somewhere here uh or you can have it a little to the left a little to the right either way you can place it there because that's not an issue it depends on how you like it uh at the end of the day it's your creativity that shows i'm just giving you ideas um yes again now it comes to background i usually prefer if you've seen from the past few um uh, slides i usually try to keep it plain white because that's a very neutral color you cannot go wrong with white um sometimes now you'd ask me why not try out with black sometimes it happens that um black uh, presentations uh, uh tend to give a more tend to give informal uh touch i it's it's my perspective i might be wrong and you know you might have a different opinion on it but according to me black um backgrounds have a very informal um uh a uh, touch to it so you cannot use it everywhere but white is actually very subtle color you can use it um for formal informal both and uh, that's why i prefer using white and actually goes with everything now instead of um a brown and yellow and 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 the orange touch that I, that i have added here even if i had it uh, had a brown one or sorry um a blue one or a lavender one it would have looked good either way but there is only little things you can do with other background colors so that's why i go for a safer choice that's white and more or less it's the same thing here as well so we'll skip to the next one now this one is a little different does not have any background image and i have kept the project name in a different place so here i have tried to uh make it look uh not too subtle but not too um fancy so here again is a graphic um graphic uh piece uh when i mean graphic piece i mean the uh, i mean the graphics the 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 sketches that you have on your presentation so again these things you can get from canva very easily you don't have to worry about plagiarism there um here now this is um this is a graphic uh picture that i have taken so graphics are really important if you want your presentation to look nice um again here i have for example so this graphic will look good if i have a topic like chemistry you know um this is going to write chem so if you have a topic like chemistry then it will look really really good because this shows the liquid in a in a in a beaker in a pellets so it will look much better um then i have changed the text format here i have given a base here if you think about it i have given a base that's the this one that's the base okay and this one the the darker color which is completely filled inside that's a 
something like top coat yes i'm going to give it the name as top coat and this will again this is a little informal uh, it's not for formal presentations but if you can make it look formal by changing a few things here and there then that uh, perfectly works but this is like a top coat which um you know um kind of is just the way we write things it's just how you letter uh text on a presentation so it's just an idea that i thought of you can have two different fonts here first make sure your base font is uh final then on top of it you can have a calligraphy font like this or you can have another fonts which are filled in color do not make both of the fonts as hollow so you cannot have this t like this on the base and then on top of it again a t that's hollow from inside that would not look good but in case you had a hollow on the background and a filled up on the top which one looks better obviously this one looks better and this one looks much cleaner and and much more clear so i think that's something that you have to figure out for yourself um second thing that i have done here the project name is no more with the text again cuz if you write it if if you if you make it somewhere um i'll just mark it for you if you make it somewhere here it will maybe look a little weird because if you can see on the background there's a smear of paint um so if you if you write it if you write it here it may look a little weird but when you place it here it looks much better much cleaner uh just above the name so you have the project name and the your name uh, again just to be clear this is your name and so it will look much much better if you do it in this format where you have the project name just above your name again because there's nothing solid here if you i'm i'm talking about this place there's nothing solid here if you think about it it's it's just a smear of paint there are no uh, there are no uh, lined boundaries here um if i if i'm being precise so that is really important um apart from that the entire thing is up to you like for example i've added an ex uh, extra um like this uh and like this so i've added a few extra things like that to just make the presentation not completely empty um but a few elements here and there so that's with the graphics also you can do it you don't have to add extra stuff like this but um it's recommended because it will look better so um please do let me know which of the designs you like the most and which one you will try yourself um and i think that's it it's um uh, i'm i'm done with all the slides that i had prepared for all of you this is just the first part um if i may have to this was the this was just the first part of uh the presentation video uh because there's so many elements in presentations that uh, one cannot get enough of speaking so and i like speaking so um this was just the first part and that dealt with the cover pages about how you can make cover pages because cover page without any uncertainty is really really important one of the most important pages of your presentation because that gives the first impression of of your work when someone is viewing it um so we'll not take much of your time <clears throat> excuse me um and we will see the other elements apart from a cover page uh in the second part that is to come So if you do like this video please like and please subscribe and please share it to someone who really needs to make better presentations or needs help with the cover pages especially um please share it to them and please subscribe so that you never miss a video please click on the notification bell and let me know what else I can show you and if you do want a guide through Canva the one that I've mentioned in the description below please write down in the comments so that i can guide you through it and we all can learn together thank you that's it for today